Let's go over that uh, oil market. So I have your, your charts up here, Tom. Perfect. So we have crude oil, $50, right to the penny right now. Looking at the April contract, we'll jump in here over to commodity spreads. I'm going to refresh this real quick. Commodity spreads, crude oil. We'll start with the 11 AMs. The only option we really have here is 49.50 or 50.25, so we're about 25 cents away. But if you jump to the noons, we do have a 50 option from 50 to 51.50 on the bullish side. Only a four penny bid offer spread, so not bad there. We'll pull up the bearish one from 50 down to 48.50. And you're looking at about 29 cents on each side, which is $29, so $58 or 58 cents away from $50 right now you need over an hour and a half. Not bad, 58 cents, is, that's more than usual um, maybe for the, the trades, but with what's going on, 50 cents either direction, you have till noon, um, not a bad trade, I think. Yeah, because just today, that's what we've moved, it looks like 43 cents will move both ways. Today. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah. So, so we'll see what happens, but we got oil right at the $50 mark, literally to the penny, and we get the numbers in like 10 minutes from right now. Okay, so let's go back over to this whisper number. I'm going to go, let's see, WH. You know what? Can I jump around? Actually, I didn't uh, think they lined up. The yeah. daily, it's just interesting. The daily actually has a 50 to 55 as well. Now, oh, this is really interesting just one. with yeah. everything else. So you got till 2.30, and you have $5 of profit potential. That one costs you 38 on each side. So you're looking at about $76. Okay. But you're, you have $5, which oil could definitely move more than $1.50, where you're kind of handcuffed in the last one, and you have till 2.30. Yeah, interesting, man. On a day that you have the president talking at 6 o'clock about the coronavirus, right? Oh, 6 this afternoon? 6 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, that's a long time from now. <laughs> it sure is, I agree. Yeah. So let's take a look at this. So go back into oil again, 31. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. So my take is that <coughs> if it's a bigger, the survey number's bigger build, what do you think? Let's see. I'm going to be looking for cheaper oil, more of a build, okay. how about 2.9 thousand? 2900. Okay, cool. 2900. That's it, I believe. And I'm not even sure. The, the, the nice thing about, you know, <coughs> buying the volatility a little bit on this trade or making that trade today is that you don't even have to necessarily be right. You, you're getting a lot of exposure to the volatility that's come with the market recently with the coronavirus. Especially on you're, the daily one, right? Right. Yeah. That's 2:30, right? Right. Correct. Yeah, that's that's a big number, man. So it we'll, is. we'll see where we shake out, man. Yeah. Um, Market-wise, let's go over to this S&P and take a look at it. So uh, they get the bounce going, uh, you know. And this is where, folks, okay, that you have to start getting used to like these big numbers, you know, because we've been down so dramatically. You know, the S right now is up 35 points, which is, sounds yes. like a monster. <laughs> and it is a monster, okay? But the bottom line is that, you know, we went from 32.59 yesterday down to 31.17, <laughs> just to give you an right. idea. I mean, that's like about as intense as you can get. So You know, that I was just going to make mention, the low last night in the S&P is 3,091. I mean, we're, we're 80 points off of that low, which is remarkable. It is. Uh, how far we were. Isn't that crazy? 4 a.m. looked a little dicey. Thankfully, right. I wasn't up I wasn't up and awake just, just yet to see right. how bad things might have looked. Right. And, you know, what's going to be interesting here is that the the real question is going to be, okay, can this get all the way up to 32.12? That would be, that'd be a normal place for it to go. And all, what that is, folks, is that that's the lows of the 31st of January. You know, it's like, let me yes. see. I want to see what this is. Fibonacci wise. So, so let's see. Let's see where the 382 comes in. What I'm going to do okay. is I'm going to take the high cool. to low. 3400 and about I want to see to where this. Look at that. Yeah. You're talking 3208. So we got a while okay. to go, even, even for a dead cat bounce. Another 40, 45 points. Yeah. 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 And what you want to do, folks, is just keep your eye, you know, for the next hour and a half on Europe. Uh, because if Europe can hold, that's going to basically, oh, that's not holding. Interesting, man. When we started this program, we had the DAX 
uh, up four tenths, and the cat was up four tenths. Now they're both down four okay. tenths. Mm, that's, that's Meanwhile, the Dow's up 300. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no doubt. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow up 320, Nasdaq up 141, S&P's up 33, and you talk about a build. Holy cow. This is a build in half. I think it said 4.2 million. Let me find this thing again. Yeah. Crude inventories rose uh, 452,000 barrels. Okay, that makes a little more sense. So a little bit yeah. of a miss there for sure. Yes. The number was about 2.6 million. They were expecting for a build. The whisper was lower at 1.2. Uh, and I had crude up. Crude was jumping a bit, about 20 cents. It got a pop on that news. Pretty muted action, though. Checking out the chart. I mean, we were right at $50. We initially jumped up to fifty dollars and twenty cents, but we're back at fifty oh nine. Wow. So um, I think the market basically saying, you know what? All we care about is this coronavirus story over the next week, and to really try and figure out what it's going to do to the global economy. No doubt, man. I mean, look at these numbers. The, yeah. As we said, the estimate was two point six million build, only four hundred fifty two thousand gasoline. The estimate was minus two two million. They got minus two two point six million. Uh, distilled, which would be diesel. You know, that, that's interesting with diesel, yeah, because that that was also a big draw, and you know, diesel has to do with planes also. But you now someone's okay. using it. It's a it's a minus. They were looking for a 1.5 draw. They got a 2.1, and <laughs> that's pretty amazing that oil can't move and there's. The draw was that dramatically different. It right? is, and I have the chart up again, and we're actually down 49.95. So we're now five wow. pennies, six pennies under where we were trading at before that number came out. Pretty wild. 